Hello students. Today I am going to talk about the criteria of stability. In our last video, we had discussed about the uh, phase equilibrium and the criteria of phase equilibrium where we had discussed three criteria. The first one is the change in entropy at constant internal energy and volume. It is always greater than or equal to zero. That means the entropy of the system will always rise or greater than, right? Uh, when it is try to reach to the equilibrium. Fine. The second criteria is the Helmholtz free energy at constant temperature and volume is always less than or equal to zero. And the last and the most important criteria is change in Gibbs free energy at constant temperature and pressure is always less than or equal to zero. So that means what is the meaning of this? The equilibrium state of a closed system is that state for which the total gives free energy is minimum with respect to all post possible changes at the given temperature and pressure. So, Joby changes honge system ke under, right? Go gives free energy kaha hona chahiye, hamisha decrease hona chahiye, uh, negative hona chahiye, right? It should be always less than zero to achieve the equilibrium state, right? So, this criteria of equilibrium provides a general method of for the determination of equilibrium states and we can write this expression for uh, GT as a function of temperature, pressure and number of moles of the species uh, in the several phases and then we find the uh, set of values for the mole numbers that minimize GT, total gives free energy subject to the constraints of the um, conservation of mass conservation. The equilibrium, the differential variation can occur in the system at constant temperature and pressure without producing any change in gives free energy. So, in total gives free energy and this is the meaning of equality sign, right? Now, to apply this equation to develop an expression for a DGT, uh, change in differential form of total gives free energy as a function of mole numbers of the species in the various phases and set it equal to zero. The resulting equation along with those representing the conservation of mass provide working equation uh, for the solution of equilibrium problems. So, for the phase equilibrium, uh, you can apply the, this equation and for uh, chemical reaction equilibrium, you can apply this equation, okay. So, now let's talk about the uh, stability. So, this equation, this, this particular criteria, this criteria, uh, it, this criteria must be satisfied by any single phase that is stable with respect to the alternative uh, that, uh, that it split into uh, two phases, right? So, uh, stability means what, what is stability? Stability means uh, if any changes occurs in the system, a system always try to get back to its original state. If the system has any changes in your system, then what happens after changes in your system? अपनी original position या original conditions में आने का try करेगा and that is called stability, right? Like let's take uh, uh, see there are three types of stability. The first one is a neutral stability or a neutral equilibrium. When let's take this is your uh, this is a one plane and let's take this is the ball. तो यहाँ पर क्या करेगा किसी भी आप कोई भी changes करोगे it is always remain same, right? So this is called neutral. Now, there is one condition, यहाँ पर आपका ball है, आप कोई भी changes करोगे, यहाँ से यहाँ, यहाँ से यहाँ, if there is a, any energy, right, तो ये ball क्या करेगा, आप, if you pro, uh, uh, externally push this, तो ये यहाँ इधर जाएगा, यह इधर जाएगा, but 
it always get back to its original condition and original position right so this is this is this is also one kind of stability and there is a one condition like this to yahan to agar aapne breathe bhi kiya breathe bhi kiya to it fallen down right and wo apni kisi bhi kabhi bhi apne original condition par nahi aa sakta hai so ye kya ho gaya unstable aur ye kya ho gaya this is stable right so i hope you understand what is the meaning of stability over here so wo hamesha system is try to reach to its uh, uh, original uh, position or original condition that is called stability so uh, stability ke liye conditions kya hai it uh, it requires the minimum gives free energy right so with respect to uh, all possible changes at the given temperature and pressure see when two uh, two pure liquids mixed at a given temperature mix, uh, temperature and pressure uh, the resulting mixture should have a lower free energy at the same temperature and pressure this is because the mixed state is an equilibrium state or stable state as compared to the unmixed state right so the molar free energies of the mixture is less than the sum of the uh, molar free energies of the species for all possible changes so that means here you can write uh, g gt which is the total gives free energy ng should be less than uh, equal to summation of ni gi right that means g is less than summation of xi i is yeah, gi right put it all uh, number of this so g minus summation of xi gi is always less than 0 at constant temperature and pressure right so according to the definition the quantity of left hand side is the gives energy change of mixing and therefore it is delta g and which is always less than 0 so gives free change of mixing must always be negative right this always be negative this is what gives energy change of mixing right it is it must be always be negative kaise hona chahiye gives free energy of mixing hamesha negative hona chahiye and gives free energy of mixing is always less than the gives free energy of unmixed uh, Uh, components or species right the free energy change on mixing delta g is plotted against x1 the mole fraction of species 1 in the binary mixture the first curve the resulting curve uh, is one th this is the first curve let's take this is the first curve uh, is the first curve is for a binary mixture which is miscible for the entire concentration range that means it forms a homogeneous solution and see maine abhi aapko kaise bataya tha for the stable uh, stability kaun sa system stable rahega right so it tries to always achieve the lower uh, energy change and this is, this type of system is always stable so same here this is this is a stable now let's talk about the second curve so what is happening over in the second curve when Uh, if we when mixing occurs a system can achieve a lower value of uh, the gives free energy by forming uh, here they are forming the two phases by forming a single phase and then the system is splits into two phases and uh, here you can see this this situation represented by point 1 and mark as a point 2 over here because now let join this by the a straight dashed line 
which is connecting the point 1 and point 2 this is the x1 and this is x2 when we mixed together. Now you can see over here it lies below uh, below the delta G curve. This is your delta G curve for the homogeneous solution. So uh, what is the meaning of this? So when the system moves from solid curve to the dotted line 1, 2, there is a decrease in the Gibbs free energy. Of course, this is the Gibbs free energy. This curve represents a Gibbs free energy for the homogeneous solution. Now here you can see this dot dotted line is below this curve. That means there is further decrease in Gibbs free energy, right? So, so to understand this, let's draw a curve like So let's we are uh, we have this two states. So uh, this is these two are called local state, stable state. This is also a local stable state, and this is also known as meta stable state. So see uh, here, your system is more stable than this point of of course and if you compare these two states this is this one is more uh, stable than this one okay so similar over here in this graph also so at these two points your system is uh, splits and it behave it is uh, more stable than this the uh, this point similarly over here also fine so uh, this is what this is the barrier you can say this is the energy barrier, right? So, if fluctuation hota hai aur wo cross kar leta hai isko jada, to wo kaha chala jaga further dousra state mein jayega and this is uh, more stable point. Similarly, of course, third state bhi wo achieve kar sakta hai agar energy jo bhi fluctuation hai, jo agar aap microscopic label pe dekhenge, agar energy uh, jo barriers, these are the barriers. This is called energy barriers aur wo isko agar cross kar leta hai, itni energy hai aapke system mein or wo isko cross kar leta hai, to wo it will achieve a second uh, a stable state, right? So, uh, similarly in this graph, you can see here, uh, this is one and two position where your Gibbs free energy is decreases as compared to this one. So, ye jo dotted line hai, it shows the uh, stability, right? So, homogeneous kis mein ja raha phase, kis mein ja raha hai? to heterogeneous phase to achieve the stability. What is the conclusion of this? So that is uh, the system attains stability when it moves from homogeneous to a heterogeneous state, right? This is your homogeneous curve, right? Okay. And where homogeneous when your uh, both the components or what the liquids are miscible completely. But in this case, they split, right? They are not completely miscible. They are immiscible, right? At the some cons, some range of concentration, it can be anything. Okay, so uh, the system attains stability when it moves from homogeneous to a heterogeneous state. Therefore, for mix mixtures of composition between point one and two. The equilibrium or stable state consists of two immiscible phases. So, here the range will be two immiscible phases. So, we see that the second derivative of delta G with respect to X1 is always positive for stable liquid phase and it if it uh, becomes zero or negative, phase separation occurs. So, let's see <clears throat> delta G second derivative, okay. dx1 square is always greater than 0 at constant temperature and pressure. If it, it, it becomes 0 or negative, phase separation occurs. So, the criteria of stability is that of constant temperature and pressure, the free energy change on mixing, its first and second derivatives are all continuous functions of the 
कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एक्स 